This is problem number 7, section 11.7. 7. It says express the following integrals as beta function, then use 7, 1 to express it in terms of the gamma functions when possible. Um, okay, and uh, so I'm doing number 7, 0 to pi over 2 d theta over square root sine theta. So what I could do, I know that this is a formula in the book uh, to use, uh, which is uh, 6, 4. And what I'm doing here, uh, I'm trying to rewrite the original question as this formula. So, you know, that's fairly straightforward. What I could do, I could just rewrite this as sine theta to the half, to the minus half, d theta, from 0 to pi over 2. And comparing to equation 6 4 we can see that the power of sine theta which is uh, 2 p minus 1 has to equal minus half and we don't have a cosine in the expression so that means the exponent of cosine would have to be 0 to give us a 1 uh, and uh, from these two equations here I could solve for q to be a half and p to be 1 fourth and now all I have to do is uh, I have my beta function pq so that would be 1 half 1 fourth and now I could use equation uh, 7, 1, uh, which is this guy here. Um, and uh, so 1 half, 1 fourth. I just plug in the numbers. So uh, P is 1 fourth. Um, uh, P is, uh, sorry, 1 half. And uh, Q is 1 fourth. Uh, sorry, uh, P is 1 fourth. Q is 1 half. Plug it in. So we get 1 fourth, 1 half over uh, 3 fourths. And... Uh, uh, so that means, uh, and and this goes from uh, zero to this is twice that because remember there's a two here. So, but in my expression I didn't have a two, so I would have to divide b this by two, which is this two, and I would get my final answer in terms of the gamma function. So that uh, so that's the answer for that question.